Hey guys, another fall squash recipe per your guys' request. This is a spaghetti squash. I love these, they're super versatile. Once you prep it, it stays good in the fridge for like four to five days. I add this to salad, I add it as just a vegetable side dish. You can use it instead of pasta, hence spaghetti squash. This thing is awesome and I'm gonna show you how to hack into it right now. So easy, you're gonna love this. Just like the other squash recipes we've done, we're gonna cut the ends off. This one, I just need to cut this end off so that I can balance it so I can then cut it in half. So let's get the end off, get a really good grip, get a knife that you feel very comfortable with, because again, these can be slippery, so be careful. Okay, cut the end off, and then we're just gonna stand it up like that. Good grip again. Whoops, slippery little suckers. And there we go. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna scoop out the seeds just like all the other squash. Spoon, good grip. I mean, anybody who's ever carved a pumpkin, which is probably most of you guys, it's kind of the same thing. You just kind of get in there Just like that, see? Totally easy, very doable. One side, now let's do the other side. Okay. And you can even see like, if I just scoop this, this is all the spaghetti stuff that we're gonna be cooking into our vegetable dish. This is my little Biodegradable scrap bag I just stick on the end of my cutting board. Makes it super easy to just scoop all the scraps in there and then at the end you just throw this away. So here we have our carved out perfect spaghetti squash. So what I do now is I just use my fingers. I rub olive oil on there, salt and pepper. The main thing is you want the inside to just be a little moist. <laughs> my favorite word. You just want it to be, I need to find synonyms for that. Just be a little bit moist so either you know, olive oil. The other thing I'll do if I'm trying to cut calories is I'll put some bone broth in here. Because when you lift all the fat off the bone broth, a cup of bone broth can be like 15 calories. So you can just put a couple tablespoons in there. It adds hardly any calories and keeps it moist. But for purposes of this recipe, because I'm not trying to cut calories right now, which maybe I should be, um, but I'm not, we're gonna do olive oil, salt and pepper. Okay, a little bit of olive oil, salt, fresh ground pepper, and now I literally just, people use, you know, little brush tools and stuff. I just use my fingers and just get it all in there, nice and soaked in. It's beautiful. Okay, now these are all ready to go. And now what we're gonna do is just put them straight on a pan and throw them into the oven, 350 degrees. They're cooked when a fork easily pierces through it. Half an hour, 40 minutes, we're usually good, but again, everybody's oven is different. Some people cook them opening down. I like cooking them with the opening up so they can get a little golden, a little toasty. 350 degree oven, just on a plain baking sheet. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, great. So fork easily goes through, it's cooked, and now we're gonna scoop it out. Here is our cooked spaghetti squash. If it cools down too much, it's harder to get the stuff out, so I like to get it when I can just kind of hold it like this in a dish towel and then scrape it out because it's easier to do when it's hot. I just kind of start around the outside edges with a fork and just start pulling it out like that. It looks like spaghetti, look at that, isn't that beautiful? So what I'll do is I'll just kind of go around the edges, get it all nice, oops, get it all nice and loose, and then I'll just scoop it. See that? Next half, get your fork in at the edge. 
I love this recipe. It's so easy. Again, this stuff prepped in your fridge, it's an awesome vegetable to have. It's versatile. I use this stuff all the time and they're great right now. Being fall, these squash are really beautiful right now. Let's just scoop it right into the bowl again. You also get a lot of bang for your buck with these things. See all that beautiful spaghetti squash? This also reheats really well. It takes on different flavors really well. I mean, I've added pesto to this stuff, tomato sauce, or drizzle it with just a little bit of olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper, heat it up. I mean, it's really versatile. It'll take on any flavor you want it to cook with. Here's your prepped spaghetti squash ready to go. Again, another really simple, easy fall recipe for you guys. Let me know what else you wanna see. I love getting requests and being able to show these things to you guys. So subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new video and I will see you guys next time.